Hi friends, welcome to the Blueprint Nursing YouTube channel. My name is Abby and today we'll be reviewing the medication oxytocin, also known as Pitocin. We'll start by reviewing oxytocin, then we'll lock all of that information in by working through an NCLEX next generation style practice question together. Let's get started. All right, before we get into the details, what comes to mind when you hear the word oxytocin? Labor and delivery. The oxytocin we administer as a medication, or pitocin, is a synthetic form of the hormone oxytocin, which is naturally produced in the body. Oxytocin is critical during labor and childbirth as it stimulates the smooth muscle of the uterus to contract. Oxytocin can also help with milk ejection during breastfeeding after birth. Oxytocin can be administered intravenously for three common reasons. To induce labor before contractions have started, to regulate or increase the strength or frequency of contractions, and to manage bleeding during the postpartum period. While oxytocin can be beneficial during labor, it does come with potential side effects and risks. Uterine hyperstimulation or excessively frequent or strong contractions are a common side effect of oxytocin administration. This can lead to increased discomfort and fatigue in the pregnant client, as well as fetal distress that can be seen through changes in the fetal heart rate. Other side effects include nausea, vomiting, and water retention. Although it is rare, uterine rupture, postpartum hemorrhage, and allergic reactions can occur. If you become a real deal nurse in the perinatal world, it is likely you will administer oxytocin. Be sure to frequently monitor fetal heart tones, uterine contractions, and vital signs. Prepare for any potential complications that you might face. It is also important to educate clients about potential side effects and risks with oxytocin administration. Great job reviewing oxytocin. Let's work through a practice question together. The nurse is preparing to administer oxytocin to a client in labor. The nurse knows that which of the following is an adverse effect commonly associated with oxytocin that requires immediate nursing intervention. One, decreased maternal respiratory rate. Two, increased fetal heart rate variability. Three, maternal hypertension. Or four, uterine atony. All right, go ahead and press pause, make your choices, and then when you're ready, press play to continue and we'll review together. Ready to jump in? All right, you've got this. We'll begin by reading through each answer choice and reviewing them one by one. One, decreased maternal respiratory rate. While oxytocin can cause respiratory depression, it is not a side effect that is typically considered common. If respiratory depression does occur, it should be addressed, but let's keep looking through to see if there are any other options that are more common and require immediate intervention. Two, increased fetal heart rate variability. Oxytocin is more commonly associated with decreased fetal heart rate variability, which could indicate fetal distress, but moderately increased fetal heart rate variability is a positive sign and is not an adverse effect. So we can cross this one off the list. Three, maternal hypertension. Oxytocin is actually more likely to cause maternal hypotension due to its ability to vasodilate. Hypertension is not a common adverse effect, so we will cross this one off too. Last option, four, uterine atony. This one is definitely giving me red flags. Remember how we talked about that uterine hyperstimulation? Oxytocin can cause that, which may lead to uterine atony, or a failure for the uterus to fully contract after delivery, which could potentially lead to a postpartum hemorrhage. Uterine atony absolutely requires immediate nursing intervention, such as fundal massage, to prevent excessive bleeding. So our correct answer is going to be... Number four, uterine atony. Great work. Here are our references. As always, thank you so much for reviewing this topic with me today. Don't forget to subscribe to stay up to date on all things Blueprint Nursing. Check out our TikTok live study sessions, crash course, and live NCLEX study groups. See you next time.